Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. This video I'm going to introduce you to a really useful application for anybody who's interested in the outdoors. The application is called Komoot. Komoot is a, primarily a navigation application which is basically like a sat nav in your pocket. It can be used to plan and record walks, hikes, bike rides etc. All I'm going to do in this video is just give you a quick outline of what the app's about and then in future videos I'll go through some of the features in more detail showing you how to plan walks, bike rides, record highlights and share your information with others. So once you open the application up you'll generally be on this page here which is the discover tab. In the Discover tab, there's a bit of a news feed, it's a bit of a social media element to the application. So you'll get information, uh, news stories, articles put up by Komoot um, about different walks, different areas of the country. You'll also get a little bit of a news feed of what people have been doing. Um, this sort of get inspired, it's showing people who you follow, rides they have been on any highlights they have um, sort of recorded on the app um, and it gives you an idea of what's going on in your area the next one you'll see on the bottom here is plan quite self explanatory this one once you're in the plan tab, it'll open up the map. It'll normally centre on your location as you'll have your GPS enabled. This so it opens up the map. And on the map you can see there are little various red dots and things. These red dots are what are known in Komoot as highlights. And highlights are basically places of interest where people have maybe taken pictures or recorded a place of interest. Uh, I'll see if I can get one to work here. So if I zoom in on this here, Pencho Hill, and hopefully I can tap on that. And yeah, it's brought up the highlight of Pension Monument. It'll also give you a little bit of information of different tours and trails people have done and a little bit of information about that highlight. But it's not just place of interest, it could be um, a section of track or a walking route somebody's done or a section of that walk where people have found it of particular interest. There we have Wayside Golf Club A little bit of information about that highlight. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. Ah, oh, yeah, this one here. Banks of the Weir. So, obviously, somebody's been on a walk or a ride and took some pictures, etc., of, of that. So, that's basically your map where you would go in and plan your rides. When you pull down on here, it gives you the option of setting the type of sport you're doing for instance gravel riding, mountain biking, alpine, mountaineering, hiking, bike touring, mountain biking, road cycling. So those are a few of the options there. Also set whether your journey is going to be a one way journey or a round trip. Also select your fitness level from couch potato, average fitness, good shape, athletic, up to pro. Once you're in here you can use your current location and destination, you can fill in things and that will generate your route. Well I'm not going to go into that in this video, that will be my next video where I show you the basics of route planning. Next tab is your record tab. 
Now, if you're out on a ride or a walk and you want to record the distance you've travelled, speeds, and a bit of information there, this is the tab you'll go into. You'll enable your GPS on your phone, hit the record, and it'll restart recording on a map your speed, your average speed, time in motion, total time travelled, your maximum speed, your current altitude, your height of ascent and your height of descent. And once you've done a recording, you can save that recording, give your tour a name and obviously you'll be able to make that public and share it with anybody who's, who's following you on the app. Next section is your profile. And here you can see my profile in Kamut has a little bit of basic information of my name, how many people is following me, how many I'm following. You can add and find friends in the app. You can show the planned, sort of list your planned routes. So these are tours that I've actually planned. Uh, these are tours I've actually completed. Uh, you can sort of go into one of these rides. Uh, this is a bit of a random Sunday afternoon. Nothing particular, but you can go into your different tours you've done from there. Also got your highlights, different highlights you may have recommended. This will give up information, so for instance a recent one I've done, a highlight, I call Crossing the Golf Course and Beyond. Uh, this was a ride i done uh, near Chesley Street where I crossed through near Lumley Park Golf Course and followed the woodland through to uh, fence houses, so that's a, a highlight I've got on there. various other settings and things like I say I'll go on to these in more detail in future videos after your profile there is the more page um, basically what this will do is give you information about various upgrades within the app when you first set up an account with the app you will be entitled to a free um, map uh, your local region map so for me it was the Newcastle region that was free of charge you can then upgrade with what they call bundles so the bundle for me would have been a selection of about three or four maps which covered the entire northeast of England uh, I'll put the prices up on screen what the was cost Beyond that you've got the world map package which I believe is around about £30 normally to buy but within your first week or so of um, sort of sign up to the application you will get it offered to you for £20 which is what I've done so that meant I've unlocked the entire world maps meaning that I've got all the maps stored and I can use those for offline navigation on the phone. There is a premium service to the application, I'm not going to go into that, I've not used the premium but basically what that offers is some slightly more specialised maps and a few additional features that you can use for your planning and navigation. So that was it, that's just a basic rundown of what the Commute app's all about. I'll be recording some videos in the coming weeks which will go into a bit more detail of these features primarily how to plan a route using the mobile application how to record a route how to set up um, and recommend highlights um, and some other little features along the way I may also do some other videos including how to use the same features on the actual website however there are plenty of those videos all over YouTube specialising on the website and that is the reason that I'm primarily focusing on using the application uh, to give a bit more detail to how to use the app itself. I hope you found this quick introduction to Commute useful. Uh, if you like this please subscribe to the channel click on the notification bell and you will get notified of when I've got future videos up as I say the next video I'll be doing is 
on using this plan section and how to plan a route, how to alter your route and how to tune a route to your liking. So thanks for watching this video, bye for now.